Four-year-old twins, Emmett and Gabriel, are pretty typical kids. They like to play outside, they like puzzles and toy cars, and they're curious about new gadgets. They also like to cuddle in their parents' arms, and sometimes they need extra attention. Emmett and Gabriel have pretty old-fashioned parents, who tied the knot before they moved in together, who always knew they wanted to have kids, who try to attend church on Sundays, who share dishwashing and laundry duties, and who put the boys to bed by 8 p.m. every night. Except that their parents, Paul Melkert and James Zimmerman, are gay. Our third date, both of us um, realized that this was, this was something that was turning into something that was going to last for a long time. And I, I was nervous going into this that I very much wanted to become uh, a parent and was hopeful that uh, James did too. Like many parents, watching their children being born was one of the most powerful moments of their lives. In Paul and James' case, a surrogate mom delivered the twins but needed an emergency C-section. Paul and James were both in the room during the birth. To hear your son cry for the first time as he came out and yeah. they placed him in a warmer and uh, then number two, we heard cry. Emmett, the uh, older brother on the left, comforting his uh, crying <laughs> brother on the right. Yeah, It was really a, a, an incredible, incredible moment. Yeah. Paul and James will celebrate their seventh anniversary of their unofficial wedding at the end of April. A service at our church for our family. We had, I think, between 30 and 40 family members and very, very close friends. McAllister, Plymouth, and St. Paul. But it was just a fun day. <laughs> it was, it was a very fun day. And we walked in together, mm -hmm. and we walked out holding hands. Yep, and we walked in holding hands. We walked out holding hands, and all of our family was there. The, I think the, the moment that stands out most for me, though, is standing up front, just the two of us with the minister in front of an altar, you know, it's with all of our family sitting there. I particularly remember also just a, a beautiful toast speech that uh, my father gave welcoming James and acknowledging um, that yeah. it was two families coming together yeah. and uh, how much they cherished James and how much they loved having him as a part of their new life and he always says that you know as a parent you love your children and you also love who your children love and to hear my father say that in a toast in front of all of, of everybody there and get a little tearful as he said it was really really impactful for me on election night last november they gathered together with opponents of the ballot amendment that would have constitutionally banned same-sex marriage but like many minnesota parents they couldn't stay out too late because it was a weeknight it was really exciting being there with with such a large group it got, it got late our babysitter needed to go home so we came home uh, early but we uh, were we watching were the returns here uh, right right in the other room with the, yeah. uh, in front of the TV and we're following it on the iPad and we're about to go to bed and all of a sudden yeah. James refreshed the screen and they had checked it. You know, in the morning when, when we woke up we kind of looked at each other and we were so excited again and then we realized that we were uh, celebrating that there wasn't a constitutional ban on our relationship yeah. which isn't quite the same as celebrating marriage equality, but it was the first step. In response to a legislative push to legalize same-sex marriage in Minnesota, some Republicans have suggested that the state instead enshrine civil unions. But Paul Melkert says that's not good enough. The rights, benefits, and privileges that come from a legally recognized marriage cannot be obtained by any other means. All families benefit from the reassurance that comes from knowing that your family is safe and secure. As I've been reading some of the literature, I understand that at the federal level there are 1,138 marriage-based or marriage-related uh, issues, and of, of which we have, have no part. And, and that's one part of it. But the other part is when, you, when you're out in public or when you're talking about your family and you say, my husband or my wife, there's an automatic acceptance and understanding of the importance of who that is. And I don't think everybody yeah. always recognizes that if you say my boyfriend, my girlfriend, my, my spouse, my partner, yeah. it doesn't have, yeah. it doesn't carry that same important meaning. Paul, a pediatrician, says kids of gay parents do just as well as kids of heterosexual couples. 
I've been a pediatrician in the Twin Cities for more than 10 years and have taken care of thousands of families in sickness and uh, in maintaining good health. Uh, my anecdotal, uh, anecdotal experiences in the clinic are unequivocally echoed in the myriad studies that continue to come out from after more than 25 years of research. The children raised in same-sex uh, couples by same-sex uh, gendered parents fare equally well in all areas of emotional, psychosocial, and behavioral adjustment as opposite gendered parents. Paul, who was raised Protestant, and James, who was raised Catholic, said that coming out to their families didn't put them in conflict with their faith. And when I was faced with recognizing that I was gay, having, having to reconcile that and have to start questioning the Bible and questioning my faith, it made my faith even stronger and I realized that I can reconcile this. I found someone that I love and I find God through him. And it's, it's made our faith stronger, and to be able to choose to worship and, and do that together has, has really strengthened my faith. The day after Easter, Emmett and Gabriel got to participate in the annual Easter egg roll on the White House lawn, like typical American kids have for years. Uh, the Obama administration has been wonderful about being inclusive and wanting diversity in the White House. Um, and included that gay and lesbian family mm -hmm. for years since the first year of their administration. We feel very fortunate to have been invited to be a part of it this year. This is the first time that we've had a president that openly yeah. expects and wants things to change. To stop talking. <laughs> you didn't hear that, did you? <laughs> they, they realize that our family structure is a little bit different than some people's. Uh -huh. um, but they know a lot of families that have two dads. They know a lot of families that have two moms. They know people of a single dad and a single mom. We have friends that are being raised by grandparents that, for them, they recognize every family is a little bit different and every family is special and it works out in every way.